days above 90, upper 80s in Boston today. And for people without air conditioning, weather like this can be downright dangerous. Christina Hager is live in Boston with a closer look at beating the heat. Christina? You know, over the last couple of days, and this is not even including today, Boston EMS has had about 730 calls to respond to. That's about 100 more than the usual load, and it's because of the heat. Another hot day in the city, and Boston EMS gets a call at this community health center in Roxbury. A woman reported unconscious. Turns out she was just dizzy with heat exhaustion. She was hot outside, dizzy weak, went inside, laid down for a few minutes in the cool air conditioning. Over the past few days, emergency crews have been stressed with heat calls on top of the usual load. Extra units have come in to work more hours for what is at times an unrelenting schedule. Increased calls for diabetics and people with just general malaise, dizziness, not feeling well. Like this pregnant woman who, for unknown reasons, was practically passed out when we pulled up alongside an ambulance. She woke up and refused treatment. Also feeling the stress of the heat, crews like this one installing air conditioning in South Boston. Some people just, they're like, listen, my AC's not working. I need you now. And you, you, I mean, you, if, if you're working on someone's AC, you can't stop working on their AC to get over to work on someone else's AC. It's been murder. Let me. Oh, it's been so hot. I have never been this hot in my life. Linda McSorley, without AC all summer, having it installed along with an addition now, they can't get the duct work in fast enough. I just want my air back. I want snow today. That's what I keep saying. I want snow. Yeah, she said snow. I didn't say it. She said it. In all seriousness, though, this EMS stuff is critical, and uh, EMTs tell me it's especially difficult in the city because there's so many high rises, so many apartments, and when you go into those top floors, the temperature, I'm told, can be 15 to 20 degrees hotter up there if there's no AC than it is anywhere else, so a lot of work for ambulance crews like this. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Liam, back to you. Christina, thanks. We're, we're happy with.